Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we've got a little hover effect for you today. If you look at the titles at the top there, if I hover over, they've got a nice little underline effect that comes in from the middle here. Now we've done this various ways before. We're doing it with a bit of CSS coding using a pseudo element today. Really easy to do. Don't let the CSS put you off. Any code I write, I'll put down below and you're welcome to copy and paste it. Use it how you will. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. And let's just add a text module for this today. Divi comes as standard with all the light gray modules you see here. There's a text module. When you have WooCommerce installed, it actually gives you an extra 12 plugins to manage your products with, which is great. So I'm going to just put a title in there. I'll say fantastic. For want of nothing better. There it is right there. I'm going to turn it into a heading by selecting it, going up to the drop down where it says paragraph, clicking on it, and just hitting heading two. Now you can go over the designs tab to decorate it, or you can just roll over it and hit the little paintbrush, and it'll take you right to the right place for the H2s. So let's have a look. I want to make it bold for a start, or at least semi bold so it stands out a bit, it looks like a title. I'm going to make it uppercase. I'm going to pop it in the middle. I'm going to make it blue like I did with my other ones. And let's bring it up in size. I think I used about 38 for the last ones. Looks about right. Okay. Well, we've got our little title there. Now we need to add our little underline effect. And this is where the coding comes in. So let's go over to the advanced tab. And don't forget this codes below the video if you don't want to follow along in real time. You can use the before, we're actually going to use the after for this today. So let's create some content. We've got to tell it we want some content in there. And let's open and close some brackets so it can put in whatever it really wants to put in there. Semicolon. Always put a semicolon when you're going to add an extra line of code. If you don't put that, it won't read the next line of code. Okay, what do we want? Well, let's create something. Let's give something a width and a height and a background color so we can see it. Let's say width. I'm going to say 50%. So it will be 50% of our title module there, width-wise, 50% of the width of it. And I'll give it a height of, say, 4 pixels. And we can't see anything because there's nothing to see. We have to tell it. A color if we want to actually see it so let's say background color and let's choose a color let's use the same blue as we're using on that font there I've got a free chrome color picker up here just gonna grab that color there it is and it's a hex color so hashtag and then the number And there it is. And we can't see anything yet still. So let's give it some absolute positioning. So we can say position, absolute. And now we've done that, you can actually see it there. And we want it to start pretty much where the start of that F is. So we need to shuffle it along from the left there. Let's try. 20% I think it'll need a lot more than that probably about 50% so I'm going to say left Let's try 20% see where that takes us oh actually that's spot on great okay and we need to make it a little bit wider that 50% is not actually working quite as much as we wanted and I think the positioning is is maybe taking it from our other elements here because to get it where it is we want to say how far down from the top. So I'm going to say 30 picks. Now we'll probably push it down a little bit more, 30 pixels. Yeah, that's obviously not enough. You see it's brought it up there. So I'm going to add a few more. Let's make it say 50. A bit too far. Let's roll back just a little bit with that. Let's go 45. Not 450. That's a little too far down. There, yeah, that's exactly where I want it. But I do want it to cover the whole of that 
image right there. So let's just see how wide that is. Let's try. We've got 50. Let's try 65. A little too much. 63. Too much. 61. That'll do fine. But we only actually want to see that when we're hovering over it. We don't want to see it when we're not hovering over it. So I know that's 61 now. I'm going to take that down to zero. Now, common to most DV modules, if you see some writing at the top there, the dark writing, and you hover over it, you'll see some icons appear. And this is similar on most modules. If there's a little arrow there, like there is now, we can set a hover state. So click on the little arrow right there. There's the desktop state when your mouse is not up. For the hover state, I want to bring that width back up to whatever it was, 61%, I think. Uh, width, 61%. There it is right there. So when we're not hovering over it, you're not going to see anything. When we are hovering over it, it's going to pop in like that. But it's doing it kind of instantly. So I want to slow it down for a bit of drama. So we use transition duration for that. So let's add a semicolon after our last line. Go down, we'll say transition. And it's actually prompted us, so I'll just click on that. And let's give it about half a second, I think I used for those other ones. 0.5s, half a second. Now it'll actually take half a second to go from the two states there. Now it's actually starting from the left, which is quite nice, but I kind of like it to start from the middle. So let's change that left to 50% instead of 20%. Now if we look at it now, it's over there. So I've just got to adjust the left hand side when we hover over it on the hover state here. So let's adjust it. We'll say left. And it should work if we put 20%. That's what we had before when it was lining up. There we go. Semicolon. So let's have a look on desktop there we go and hover that should be all we need there let's just make sure we got our transition duration in there yep fantastic let's save this and see what we've got on the front end and exit the visual builder there's our title when we hover over it's appearing in from the middle outwards like i say that's a nice little effect to have on your site and you can apply it to any title you've got on there. You can either just save the module to your library and adjust it for the size of whatever words you've got in there. Or you can just copy and paste the code into a new text module and take it from there. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Don't forget the codes below the video there. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day day.